time for an update on the 20th generation of my Sardinian glowworms. They were featured in three videos so far and the last one was sadly about an extreme population decline in the summer. However, now, roughly half a year after hatching, the first pupation has happened. It's a male. And it has matured and left the pupa. You can see the empty chrysalis right there. Half a year from egg to pupa is a typical time frame, presumably much faster than in the wild, and the key to this is of course feeding, feeding, feeding. Yeah, much feeding, much growing. Ah, lovely cream color of a freshly molded lava. This one is a bit older already and the old skin above. And I don't want to think about what this male is doing there. Anyway, uh, much feeding and uh, much feeding means much mess. So I recorded one of the frequent rehousings here. Um, the male died a day previously and um, that's, that's also kind of typical. Um, males tend to be the first to mature. And oftentimes there's a, a single individual that, um, or a few individuals that mature way faster than the rest, and um, they are not very lucky. It's uh, not always wise to be the first. Uh, but um, it's clear that the others are on the way to maturity, and I will continue to feed them well, and um, I hope that in the near future I can receive some eggs again. and. Uh, regrow my population, because um, the population loss in summer, as I mentioned in the last video about them, it was uh, very, very severe, and um, well, you can count them uh, for yourself if you want, but there are ridiculously few left from the rather large batch that I had. Again, tried and true, the sponge cup method, Food leftovers and excrement and shed skin stay on the sponge cloth and the larvae are easily transferred. Gently blowing on them if they cling too much. And that's uh, really nice and works really, really well. Ah, you can see the little ones made a lot of mess here. I am currently keeping them at slightly above 20 degrees Celsius and they receive indirect artificial light for 15 hours per day. This simulated summer photo period seems to help inducing pupation. And here comes the rest. Well, okay, a little bit of dirt made it in there. Let's take it out. Well, those that are left, um, they look very healthy and well fed, and I think they will uh, mature very soon and the colony of Sardinian glowworms uh, can continue. That larva in the middle there has eaten especially well. It's uh, really stretched. Oh, and there's still a little bit of snail shell. Let me just pick it up. And now to continue the cycle of feeding, growing and cleaning, here's some food. Wish us luck and fingers crossed for matings in the near future.